Hey everyone, welcome to Princess Gay. I'm your host, Connie, and today we are here with episode 8 of Moon Girl and Devil Dinosaur. Uh, last time we had a sleepover episode with uh, Lunella fearing over whether or not she would be accepted by the cool kids and everything. Her and Devil Dinosaur had a little bit of a body swap episode in, in there as well. But it was actually done fairly well, which is surprising considering not even Owl House could pull that off. That's impressive that this actually could do what even Owl House couldn't and pull off a good body swap episode. Um, it also had some good representation in it. Um, and, and I'm just really enjoying what this series is doing with its characters, with its stories. Even though it's mostly episodic and everything, it, it still engages you. It keeps you invested in what's going on with little bits of continuity and moments of, uh, whew, excuse me, moments of fun and interest uh, throughout the runtime. Now, I, I say all that to also say that we are going to be taking a break on this. And I know, I know, we're already going to be taking a break on Fire Force in the, in the near future, but the reason for this is kind of twofold. One, there is stuff coming out that I want to get to. It's pretty simple in that regard. There's multiple things coming out that I don't really want to wait on, and so I want to make sure we can get to it as soon as possible. And the second reason is because we, with this episode, we'll be halfway through the season. There are 16 episodes this season, uh, so we'll be halfway through, and that means we can take a break without really worrying about it. And we're going to come back to this real quick and everything. Um, so it's not like this is going to be gone for good. It's just we're... We're taking a break, we're going to watch something else, then come right back to it. Um, and I'll discuss that more in the afterthoughts and everything. <sighs> Excuse me. On what's going to replace it for the time being, again, basically the reason why I'm taking off in the first place. Um, but we will definitely get back to this because like i said i've been enjoying the shit out of this series it's just really damn good and and i i i kind of don't want to put it on on hold i don't want to take a break from it it's, it, it's not it's not the case of like doing this because i feel like i need to because i feel like burnt out on the series or i feel like i just need to get to something else in that regard it's more along the lines of just it's just because something some stuff is coming out that I want to make sure I get to right away. I don't want to wait. <laughs> I'm basically being impatient, so I'm putting something on hold to make sure that I don't have to be patient here. That I can just get to it right off the bat. Um, but like I said, I'll discuss that more in the afterthoughts. Um, so, yeah. In the meantime, we're going to get this started and hope for the best. So, when the screen fades to black, pause this redirect and go to the description below. Follow the link to the reaction, and after you watch it, come back here to the redirect and resume play. Because after it fades to black, then it fades back in, everything from that point forward will be my afterthoughts and will contain spoilers to the episode. So, with that being said, thank you so much for tuning in, and I will see you at the reaction. And we are back, and we'll begin with spoilers in three, two, one, now. Yeah, I went back and listened to it. It's like, you can tell when he's doing his fancy Rat King voice and all. Um, but when he, like, when he abandons the voice and does his, like, normal voice, even though there's still an accent to it, it's very recognizable that that's David Diggs. <laughs> it's like... If, if you've uh, seen or listened to uh, Hamilton, it's like, oh yeah, that's blatantly him. <laughs> uh, that's awesome, though. That's that's great. Um, I love David Diggs. Um, stuff to see that Snowpiercer series he's in. 
But either way. Uh, so this episode was kind of like the big first fight. Uh, like I said in the reaction, like they've had like little things before, little uh, disagreements and all, but never like a full on major fight between them. And it's only for like the second half of the episode that that happens, but still, it's nice to see. It shows that neither of them are perfect and that they have, you know, issues with some things that could happen. And it makes sense. Like, like I said in the reaction, it makes sense why Moon Girl, why Lunella was upset with him. Um, it's perfectly reasonable for, to, for her to have been upset with Devil because what he did was wrong. And it put this class pet in danger that, you know, is problematic for a lot of reasons. So, yeah, it's reasonable for her to be upset at him. But she also was kind of ignoring him. And again, like I said, she understands his language. So, when he was like asking about the movie night and everything before... When they brought on hell to the, to the um, to the cave, <laughs> the sewer, um, she should have recognized that she should have heard him, but she was basically ignoring him. She was basically just like focused so much on on hell that her her ability to to showcase the love and attention that devil clearly needs wasn't wasn't happening and you could see that uh that's what devil was upset about he was jealous because he likes having that attention he likes being you know lunella's best dino buddy and that's fair i i don't blame him for that like i've been there i've been there to where um where I've been jealous of other people trying to take away attention from me and someone else. It's like, yeah. It's perfectly reasonable. <sighs> but what Devil did in response and everything, even though it was an accident, was still wrong. And he did need to make up for it. And he he eventually did. He helped save on hell um he and on hell helped save moon girl it's like everything kind of worked out and yeah um it was a good episode it wasn't my favorite episode by any means um like there there's just multiple episodes that are better last episode the episode with the beyonder it's just like that's to be expected not every episode's just going to keep going up not every episode's going to be my favorite um, but for what it was, it was good. I enjoyed it. I enjoyed the entire Rat King thing. Um, and I liked just a lot of the ideas and concepts that were going on with it. <sighs> yes, I also liked it even though there was very little Casey in it. <laughs> um, but there's not really much else to say. It's like I, I pretty much got everything that I needed to touch on there, which is surprising because usually I feel like I would have more to say. But as I mentioned, we are going to be taking a break. Um, and like I said in the pre-thoughts, it's not out of any like case of needing a break from this series. It's not like I'm burnt out or anything. No, it it's just a matter of there's stuff coming out that I want to get to. And I don't want to wait. Um, because as much as I love this series, um, the show we are going to replacing, uh, be replacing it with is basically, you could say, higher on my priority list. Um, which simply just means that it's, it's one of those shows that I will not wait to get to <laughs> if I can help it. And I can help it here. Um, plus, like, putting this on pause halfway through the series, it, just, it works out. It works out, or the season, not the series. 
Uh, we'll be able to come back to it uh, with the second half of season one um, when, when we're done with this next one. Um, but, but, uh, what this entails, like, what is, what are we replacing it with for the time being? Well, you know what comes out tomorrow or starts coming out tomorrow? And hopefully we'll be online to be able to get to ASAP. Link Click Season 2. That's right. It was announced that uh, Season 2 of Link Click starts airing tomorrow. And I only found out about that, like, a week or two before DrawCon. Um, but yeah, it, like, it, it starts airing on July 14th, which is, uh, oh, that's not tomorrow, sorry, on, uh, Friday, rather. <laughs> I, I, for some reason, got the days mixed up. It's, it's on Friday, but either way, like, within the next couple days. Um, and hopefully it'll be up and available to watch on some site, um, ASAP. I don't know what time on Friday it's coming. I could actually probably check. Uh, there's this website called Annie Chart that actually will tell you when certain things are going to be airing based on time, not just like day. Uh, so I could probably check that. So let me see here. So like for example, it says uh, for uh, whatever Suki na Kogo or Koga Magane no Watsura are, <laughs> or, or, or uh, Wasureta. <laughs> long name uh whatever that is it aired episode two at 10 a.m today for example um so or not today tuesday yesterday so thursday so we're looking for friday so for example pokemon 2023 the new pokemon series um it has a subtitle, I forgot what it was, but it's airing episode 13 at 5.55 a.m. on Friday. And the, the times on here are synced to my time zone, so I don't know what time that is in Japan time, but yeah. Um, so let's see here. Where is Link Click? The, pro the problem is it also might be under the Japanese name on here, and I don't, I can never remember the Japanese name. Is it Liang Ki Shiwan Nian? No, but that, it can't be because this is episode 46. I'm looking for an episode 1 airing. There's an episode 1, is that it? Shen Liang Ki Yu Wu Shuang. I'm horribly mispronounced. That's definitely not it. That's the third season of something. And it looks like it's CG. Also, that's airing two episodes on Friday. Maybe it's technically Saturday in Japan when it airs. Let's check that. That could be the case. I'm not seeing it. Hold on. Um, it's the summer. So let's go to the actual summer list. Because on, on the list, instead of the just thing, it, it tells like, oh, the next episode airs in this many days, this many hours. So you could kind of work that out. Like here's Bleach, Zom 100, Jujutsu Kaisen. Looking for Link Click. I know this is coming out. They announced it's airing this season. And they announced the day. It should be on here. Now, Link Click, is Link Click an ONA? Maybe it's an ONA. Because I'm not finding in the regular stuff. Okay, here's the OVAs, ONAs, and all that. Hmm. I'm not seeing it. What the hell? Okay, now I'm getting uh, confused. Link click. 
Okay, it's probably under the Japanese name on this site, which, again, I don't really... Hold on. I hope I'm not lagging a lot during this. Ah, shoot, I probably am. Aren't I? <laughs> Sorry about any lag and whatnot. Um, I'm just trying to find this. Yeah, this says July 14th for the release date. I guess it's just not on there for some reason. I know it's not an anime, but a lot it, it's a lot by a lot of people being considered in the same area. Apparently, it even had a premiere at Anime Expo. Okay, hold on. Here's here's some info. Let me bring up the site. I, I, I found a site that I think tells the time as well. Link Click Season 2 will begin airing on July 14th, 2023 on Billy Billy, the official Link Click Twitter account announced. Episodes will be released weekly at 11 a.m. GMT plus eight time um i don't know like what that like <laughs> to est i don't know what the i i don't know how to do that i don't know what that is okay so that's 11 a.m gmt Eleven AM So that's seven AM Eastern time. So that's not too uh too different. Thing is, it specifically says GMT plus eight. I'm not sure what that's like about on here, but if that means like eight hours after that, so seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, it'd be like 3 p.m. on uh, Friday. So yeah. So, somewhere between 11 a.m. and 3 p.m. approximately, I guess. <laughs> uh, don't know, like, how quickly it's going to be put up onto websites, though, of course. Meaning that uh, even with replacing it on the schedule right away, it will not be able to be reacted to until probably next week. <laughs> Which sucks, but, I mean, that's how we are going to have to do it with a weekly release like this. Um, and that's fine. We'll, we'll, be, we'll be fine. It, it'll be all good. <laughs> it's just, yeah, there's other stuff to react to, but that is what's going to be replacing Moon Girl and Devil Dinosaur for the time being. Um, just because, if, if you guys remember, like, with my initial reactions to Link Click, it was just that damn good for me. Um, it's become one of my favorite shows of all time. I'm not even kidding you. It was that good. Um, but yeah. 
so I, I've been waiting for season two. I heard it was supposed to come out this year, and then when we finally got the release day for July 14th, I was obviously super excited. And now, yeah, that's only in a couple days. <laughs> um, but yeah, we will be getting to that um, right away uh, as soon as we can. If I can end up getting to it on Friday, if I, I can get to it in time, then I will. But if the subtitles and all aren't out and everything in time, then it'll probably be like right away next week. Um, but yeah, and, and then once that finishes, that probably will only be around the same amount of episodes. Uh, last time it was 11, so it'll probably be somewhere between 11 and 13, just a single core. Um, but once we finish that, we'll come right back to Moon Girl and Devil Dinosaur, unless another slot opens up for that in the meantime. Um, and, and before anyone says anything, the Fire Force slot is already going to be spoken for, so don't worry about that right there. <laughs> um, that, that's not going to be, uh, applicable for that. Um, but in the meantime, tell me what you thought of this episode of Moon Girl and Devil Dinosaur, and like I said, we'll be, we'll be back after a little bit. We are definitely coming back to this series. Um, but yeah. And hope you're excited for more Link Click. So thank you all so much for tuning in. For now, I'm Connie, and I'm signing off. See you all next time.